Welcome back to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. In this episode, I will discuss various common authentication scenarios and the server-side components that make them possible. In other words, we will examine together the architecture for those scenarios. However, I will not explain here how to implement them. You will learn how to configure your backend or your math application for a specific authentication technology in other episodes of this series. As a reminder, math supports four distinct authentication technologies, each suited to different use cases. First is HTTP Basic, which is supported by nearly any web server. This ensures math applications can authenticate against a wide variety of backend platforms. Second is Federated SSO, through which authenticated users from your organization will seamlessly gain access to the applications and services of a partner. Third is Mobile and Social Authentication, which enables math applications to benefit from the full feature set of Oracle's identity management solutions. For example, if the OAMMS server is integrated with Oracle Access Manager and Oracle Adaptive Access Manager, you can, access, you can offer multi-step authentication to math applications and uniquely identify each connecting device. This is also known as device fingerprinting. Finally, math applications can use the OAuth protocol to authenticate to APIs that support it. In math, there is a clear distinction between how the application authenticates and how the credentials are propagated in the context of web service calls. If you are calling SOAP web services, you have three options. Credentials can be passed in the SOAP header. In this case, authentication is performed by the web services stack and you cannot take advantage of existing SSO infrastructure supporting web applications. Alternatively, the application can pass credentials in specific HTTP attributes or use the HTTP header attributes used by HTTP basic authentication. In the case of REST web services, things are simpler. Credentials are passed in the HTTP header at all times. Cookies can also be used if the servers involved accept them. Let's now have a look at some common authentication scenarios. The scenarios we will discuss now are those for which the math framework is certified. They are those used by Oracle's QA teams during the development process. In each scenario, the math application is displayed on the left. It is represented as two distinct complementary components. One is the math framework itself. The other is Oracle's Identity Management or IDM Mobile SDK. The IDM SDK is a product that can be used in any native iOS or Android application to leverage the features of Oracle IDM backends. It has been integrated in the math runtime, which delegates authentication tasks to it. On the other hand, the math framework itself is responsible for credential propagation in web service calls. In each scenario, I will describe the various software components needed for a successful implementation. Typically, those components will be deployed either in the DMZ or on the corporate network. The first scenario we have uses HTTP basic authentication. It is fairly straightforward to implement and was already available in Oracle ADF Mobile, the precursor to math. The IDM Mobile SDK can authenticate users against Oracle Access Management Mobile and Social Server or any HTTP basic URL. The latter could be an ADF application deployed on WebLogic Server, for example. Once the user is authenticated, the backend sets a cookie that will be then used for web service authentication purposes. Math applications can connect to secured web services directly or through a proxy such as Oracle API Gateway. 
API Gateway is not mandatory, but increases the security, performance and reliability of web service deployments since it can perform service virtualization and can inspect network traffic for threats. In addition, it can expose SOAP services and JMS queues as REST web services, among other things. If the target web services are deployed on Oracle WebLogic server, they can be protected by applying Oracle Web Services Manager security policies to them. As I said before, credentials will be passed in the SOAP or HTTP headers by the MAF application. As you may know, REST web services use the HTTP protocol exclusively. This means you can gain SSO for your web services by using infrastructure meant to support web applications. In this scenario, authentication is handled by OAMMS, integrated with Oracle Access Manager. Thus, the login server connection inside the math application is of the mobile and social type. Once the user has been authenticated, OAMMS returns an OAM user token. Oracle WebGate is a component of the Oracle IDM stack which intercepts HTTP requests and will reroute them to Oracle Access Manager if authentication is required. It can work alongside a wide variety of HTTP servers. If you want to deploy WebGate in front of a WebLogic server instance, you will need to install a compatible web server such as Oracle's own HTTP server. The latter is a component of Oracle WebTier, which is a suite of products that provides page hosting, content caching, and reverse proxy features. Please note you must use the 10G version of WebGate for the time being. When the application calls a secured web service, it will transform the user token in the specific cookie expected by the WebGate. This cookie is called OBSSO cookie. Thus, you will gain access to the service as long as the WebGate delegates authentication to the OAM instance used as the login server, of course. JWT stands for JSON Web Token. Each token represents a set of claims as a JSON object that is encoded as a base64 URL, digitally signed and possibly even encrypted. This means security credentials are passed to the server for authentication and the server will return a token if the process is successful. The application can then use the token to gain access to backend services configured to accept it. This keeps the credentials secure as they are only transmitted once. This scenario also relies on the mobile and social connection type for authentication but it uses a JWT token instead of an OAM user token. Most web service stacks will not accept JWT tokens out of the box for authentication. Consequently, you need to use Oracle API Gateway or Anatole compatible proxy in order to process the token and access secured web services. A nice feature available in OAMMS is that it can be used as the relying party when interacting with popular cloud-based identity authentication and authorization services such as Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Twitter and or LinkedIn. This basically means you can use the credentials for those services to access internal protected resources. To take advantage of that possibility, you must use the mobile and social login connection type. When a user authenticates, the cloud-based authentication service will return an OpenID or OAuth access token, which will be then passed to the client math application alongside a JWT token for internal use. Subsequent calls to cloud-based services will use the third-party token, while calls to internal enterprise services will use the JWT token. That part of the scenario requires the use of Oracle API Gateway or Anotter HTTP proxy. Please note that normally network traffic to cloud-based authentication services should transit by the DMZ. The diagram offers a simplified view of the flow. Math applications do not necessarily need to access internal web services.
They can rely exclusively on cloud-based APIs if needed. In that case, the JWT token will be used only between OAMMS and the MAF application. All service calls will use the OAuth access token returned by the third-party authentication service. I must add that traffic to cloud-based authentication services should normally transit by the DMZ once again. This is also the case for service calls to web APIs if the device is connected to the corporate network. The diagram offers a simplified view of the flow. Oracle Access Manager Mobile and Social supports both OHOT and JWT tokens, as it is the case for Oracle API Gateway. Thus, you can substitute OHOT tokens to JWT tokens and still have a viable scenario. Once again, the tokens must be intercepted by a proxy, which will then invoke secured web services using an alternate authentication method. Finally, MAF's support for OO tokens means you can authenticate directly with a supported third-party cloud-based authentication service. In that case, the token obtained at authentication time will be used for remote API calls as well. Usually, this means the application, or at least the application feature, will deal with external resources exclusively. Access to internal resources will require additional backend components. Please note MAF only supports OHOT 2.0. Some internet based identity providers, such as Twitter, use earlier versions of that technology. To circumvent that limitation, you could use Oracle Access Gateway to abstract client authentication or roll out your own authentication system in MAF. This can be achieved by using a custom login screen and authenticate against Twitter using JavaScript and finally adding the Twitter OO token to HTTP request headers manually. Oracle's mobile application framework supports a wide variety of authentication scenarios. The fact that MAF bundles the IDM mobile SDK ensures full compatibility with Fusion middleware backends and will enable smoother integration with Oracle's cloud-based solutions as well. I'm Frédéric Desbiens. Thank you for watching and see you next time.